Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on mensuration. The largest possible circle is drawn inside a semicircle as shown in the diagram. The distance AB is given as 12 centimeters. Find the shaded area. Now here we can see that there is a circle enclosed within the given semicircle and the distance AB is nothing but the diameter of the given circle. So if we consider a point O that is the center of the semicircle at this point, it divides the entire length into two equal halves. So we have OA as 6 cm and we have OB as 6 cm and OA and OB act as the radius of the given semicircle. Now to find the area of the shaded region, I am going to divide the semicircle into two equal halves. So this is the line OC which divides the semicircle into two equal quadrants and OC is also the radius of the given semicircle. So the length of OC is also 6 cm. Now if we look closely to find the area of the shaded region, we have to subtract the area of this small semicircle from the given quadrant. So let me write it over here. So area of the shaded region is area of the quadrant minus area of the small semicircle. Now let me write the formula for area of quadrant and area of the semicircle. 1 over 4 the area of the circle which is pi r square and semicircle is 1 over 2 pi r square. Now if you see I have written the radiuses as r1 and r2 for the quadrant and for the semicircle. That is because the radius of the given quadrant is 6 but the radius of the given semicircle is going to be half of 6 because 6 is acting as the diameter of the given semicircle. So here we get the radius as 3. So both are different. So I have written them as R1 and R2. So let us substitute the values over here. So we get 1 over 4 times pi and R1 is 6 square minus 1 over 2 pi. The second radius which we got for the semicircle was 3, so 3 square. Now here we can see that we can take the pi is common from both the terms. So we get pi and 6 square is 36 divided by 4 minus 3 square is 9 over so further solving this we get a value of 9 over 2 pi or writing this in a decimal form we get it as 14.13 or 14.1 centimeter square. Now this is the area of the shaded region. Now let us look at the part B of this question. Find the perimeter of the shaded area. So in part A we found out the area of the shaded region. Now here we need to find out the perimeter that is the outline of the given shaded region. Now let me again first divide the semicircle into two equal quadrants and write the values as I had written in part A. Now we have to make use of these values to find out the perimeter of the shaded region. Now I can divide the perimeter of the shaded area into three parts. So the three parts are first of all the length OA plus the arc length AC plus the arc OC. Now length OA we have already got it as 6 cm plus arc AC is nothing but the circumference of the quadrant of a circle. So we can write it as 1 over 4 times 2 pi R1. So I am writing the radius here as R1 plus arc OC is nothing but the circumference of a semicircle. So we have the formula as 1 over 2 times 2 pi R2. So substituting over here we have 6 plus 1 over 4 times 2 pi and the radius of the arc AC we had got it as 6 cm so substituting over here 6 plus 1 over 2 times 2 pi and the radius of the given 
semicircle we had it as 3 cm so substituting here we get 3. Now further simplifying this we get here 6 plus so 12 pi over 4 gives us 3 pi plus 6 pi over 2 gives us again 3 pi. So we have 6 plus 6 pi which gives us an answer of 24.8 centimeter. So this is the perimeter of the shaded area. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.